We're back. We've recruited Eris. And we have a boss, but more importantly, we have Eris, so. Yep. And I don't regret that decision at all, you know, giving up Mavel. Yeah. Even though, even though Eris can no longer learn every talent in the game, her, her power in battle makes up for that. And besides, we have our talents split between the, the party anyway. That and for the sake of her character, I, I would say is the better choice, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh! Nope, no chest yet. Gotta find the dragon first. Behind. Oh, hey, wait. Dragons. Don't stop me. Don't tell me that was Eris saying that. It was. Oh, jeez. Well, and, oh, and, and I gave her the rod of the feather, boost her magic stat to roughly 800. And... Whoa! I'm sorry, that was Southern Cross, wasn't it? It was Southern Cross. Oh, uh, damn. I already liked to go to Lee using it, but damn. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Eris, she's she's a, a nuker. Like I said before, hey. like I said before, death wing indeed. Spells like that, no kidding. But yeah, it, for the upcoming fight, I'd re definitely recommend getting your best armor and stuff because it's gonna be tough. Let's see. Does Eris also uh, get meteor swarm then? Because she's the death wing and all. She does. Of oh, course, that, that's only fitting. Nice. That's all those Ronix. So, obviously, that would make up for his um, inability to increase his magic through equipment. Learning a nice meteor swarm, yeah. And, and unlike certain other Starship games, Cough 3, it's actually usable. Mm hmm. I pray for your victory. Well, I didn't sort of follow his 10 reference here, but he's already dead, so. Mm hmm. No, don't worry about it. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, it's Just boss ready. time. First, I need to make sure everybody's That's ready. Better than being boshy time. Uh, I want to be the boshy. No. No, you don't. <laughs> Fuck being the boshy. <laughs> I'll be the guy who's bad enough. I look at Ari look at Eris's health. Five fifty-three eighty-eight. Damn. Oh. Uh oh. Whoa. Earth shake! Everybody get down! The Ruin Garter, I believe it's called. They look good. And as such, this guy. Oh, now I'm finally gonna use experience cards. And, oh, it was about time. And trust me. Oh, now she's learned. She now she's gotta explode. She just learned Proto Strike. Oh, I'm sorry, explode. Yeah. Oh. But yeah. If it, when you use a Geo Impact, uh, it tends to be. It, it tends to just mow everyone down. Just like, much like uh, Gabriel's Divine Wave. Uh, I hate it. So it's good to have both Eris and Millie as healers at this in this battle. That way, um, Eris is able to deal out the hurt as well. Right. And I mean, if I think this thing resists elements, but still, she's putting a decent dent in it. Twenty nine eighteen. Oh, for half damage. Uh, uh, oh, ouch! <laughs> Oh, I think that was a death beam. <laughs> Aww, Miss Turn. Just that. a moment to, uh, I hate when that happens. Anyway. Well, better revive them. Somebody better do something. We can't leave them laying there like that. Yep, uh, here we go. Uh, I got one of them. Where is it? Resurrection missed. Alright. Uh, ah, crap. You oh, did you take care of the other one? Aw, oh, she didn't did show the the head this time around. Yeah, Millie will learn fairy light later. But well, so at least it's getting through for the moment, so. Mm-hmm. Oh, great. They're uh, no, just, just already ran out of it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Doesn't matter now. You did now, boss. Well, if you lose your arm, Ashley, so... Hey, an ironic Dragon Slash. Fought our way out that one, I guess. Somehow. Or to guard the place. Uh, oh. <laughs> I always try to help his treasure. 
It is treasure. Let's see what we find here. Um, uh, first, we're gonna want to recover. It's a good thing I had a goddess statue and angel statues or statuettes. Yeah, I think I did. I think I do have Eris with a, a emerald ring. And so let's find door number one. Divine Fury secret fire technique. I believe that's for um, Tanik actually. The, the lycanthrope. Hmm. Or if that's anyway related to uh, Divine Wrath and Starvation Three. That was a nifty attack. Mm. Maybe not the most practical, but it looked cool anyway. <laughs> Silver Greaves. What else we got? Air Slicer. Steel Armor. And what's behind door number four? Roughly. Elven Slippers. Uh, but but no bunny shoes. Aww. <laughs> yep, you're still hungry. I mean, you still want, want slippers. Holy cloak. This happens a lot when I try to um, auto uh, best equip. I tend to get the Holy Cloak instead of Robo Deception. I like those. I like the Robo Deception because it prevents per petrification. Oh, damn, that's useful. Yeah, petrify is not good, so. Mm hmm. But yeah, that, that Rod of Feather, man. It really strengthens Eris' um, damage output. In fact, I believe the final boss does absorb light synology, and yet Meteor Swarm does deal uh, actual damage to the final boss. No one can stop me Maybe now. it's non elemental. Could be. Ah, uh, delay. That actually might work. Oh, well, kinda. Uh, I don't think they had those small rabbits in Star Trek 2, so that's new to me. Hmm. Mm. I remember seeing the big ones. The ones that lay that jump on your head for some reason. <laughs> it always amused me. I'm like, why are you hopping on my head instead of attacking me? What are you doing? Ineffective. <laughs> but then again, there was that certain big rabbit in SL2 that would damage you by jumping on you. I remember that. I don't remember that offhand. I, I, I think I do remember that happening. Yeah, I think, you think now I'm going to actually uh, disable all of her useless skills. Yeah, you might want to... Yeah, might want to do that. Uh, I'll keep Starlight on just in case. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it, it, it Fixed Cloud as well. Because Fixed Cloud, while it does cause stagger, it's not that reliable. Yeah. Yeah. Or as is also known as Energy Net. Ah, the combo link. Let's see, I got Spirit Strike. Ooh, Dragon Roar and Dragon Slash. That ought to be interesting. Double your dragon, double your fun. Firestorm Blade and, uh, oh wait, Double Slash and, uh, Firestorm Blade. Alright. Alright, so, now that we've got everything we need, let's get out of here. So I'd say, yeah, I think we're, we should be done with this place at this rate. We just gotta find the way back out now. <laughs> yeah, and of course we're gonna do some more mm, PAs, I believe. They look good. This is kind of reckless, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> well, that's half the fun of being a hero. <laughs> of course, it's not. Nice. Very true sign of a hero. <laughs> not to mention, uh, even though we're underleveled, we're more powerful. Yeah, most RPGs level isn't quite as important as A, knowing how you're doing, and B, preparing for it, so... Yeah. Is it, do you ever find it awkward where... Where, uh... A party member manages to kill an enemy, but... A, a Symbology user gets off a, a, symbology, a symbology skill at the, at the exact same time? Oh yeah, so a spell starts going off even though they're, they're dead. Yes! <laughs> it's like, everything's kinda dead, it's a little late now. That actually happens in this run, I actually catch it on camera. It's, it's even more common Star Trek 3 where time doesn't stop for spells, so it's like, okay, really, I was a little late, Sophia. Come on, get with it. We have company. No one can stop me now. Well, no, no one's stop <laughs> no, no one can stop Deathwing. Seriously, that's just the Deathwing. That's great. <laughs> well, at least this time around, she, she's delivering justice to the monsters instead. No one expects the Deathwing Inquisition. Oh, wait. <laughs> Damn it! I don't even know the context of the original yeah, reference. What am I doing? <laughs> and Eris learned Fairy Light. 
There, now she can actually heal the whole party for huge amounts. This way we need an effective mixed mage, oh lord. Yeah, how That's the game's broken. How do the people here deal with this cold? It's very, called a fireplace. <laughs> very carefully. I promised myself that I'd never run away again. So yeah, no wonder she switched back to her old body, you know, in this storyline. Because she's found the courage to actually face her past. And it's funny which they reminded me of a lamb from Chrono Cross. But anyway, hey, PA first. Which do you like more, dogs or cats? This is rad. Uh oh. <laughs> deep deep uh, philosophical question. That all of a sudden? <laughs> That's great. I'm just wondering. So which is it? <laughs> oh great, the wrong um, answer no matter what you dogs, say, dude. <laughs> And remember what happened when he was Elia? talking to Elia, the very first PA of the game. Oh no. Well, there are a lot of cute dogs too. Besides, they're stronger and smarter. Uh, I don't you know. Dogs. Dog just... <laughs> you, oh no. Are you trying to make fun of me because of my carrier cat Oh, you're just mean, man. Come on, don't be I'm mean to Millie. Fun of you. I'm just saying a dog would have been a much better choice. Oh, I don't know. I, I just. Uh... Cats are better. No, dogs are better. No, no, cats rule and dogs I drool. <laughs> no, dogs <laughs> rule and cats drool. No, I think they'd say dogs. I'm telling you, I'm for sassy. Oh wait. I have with me on the road. Uh, <laughs> found <laughs> anyway. I missed that movie. Both of them. Great, they they, they were great. Yeah, even the second one was okay. Oh, brother. The second one was yes, good. When I see yeah, them. yeah, for, for being a sequel, that's I have to give it that. Yeah. It's a rare occurrence of a Disney sequel not sucking. I'll say. Oh, there's nobody here. We can't argue with the old geranium to the cranium. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> oh, this is the wrong <laughs> thing to ask a lesser fell pool. Oh, no. Are you insane? Eat you? Eat you? Rod, are you just... I was napping in cat form once, and it was like... Chomp. I was like so Like chomp. <laughs> I like how she put that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, I'm glad you weren't hurt. That was a dumb question, Rada. Good job. And then he said, "Don't be afraid, little girl." That surprised me even more. Oh boy. Oh. oh. My. He was petting me for a bit, and he said, "You're a cute little one." But I wasn't gonna be fooled by that. I kicked him and ran off. Oh boy. <laughs> oh God, she's gonna go fully Sean us in a second. <laughs> Too erotic, they'll eat you. Uh, Hi. yeah, <laughs> uh, okay, they pant they over you and then jump. <laughs> Seriously, Rod, you actually asked that question. You're almost going to the level of Vaughn in Final Fantasy 12. <laughs> hey, Frana, how old are you? Uh, an idiot, punk. <laughs> It is that that gag returned in terms of intro calls into dual decim. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> Fr hey, Prish, how old are you? <laughs> old, old enough to kick his ass, apparently. Oh, we got yeah. dog lover. Those big ones can be pretty cute. Oh yeah, they look so big and mean, but once you get to know them, they're like big, lovable fur balls. Hmm. Yeah, he kind of reminds me of German Shepherd, come to think of it. Wait, who? Oh. Who does? Oh, you. <laughs> oh, what? Play <laughs> fool. No, 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 see. <laughs> He's overqualified to be. Oh, wait. Anyway, oh, interesting question. Interesting thing, actually. If you talk to Eris while she's Mavelle, she mentions she likes cats better. But Eris is a what dog lover. More, Eris? Cats or dogs? What is with this whole cats or dogs? Wow. Why is this so important? Like dogs, <laughs> more, I, <suppose. laughs> no. I don't know. Oh, cute, little little fat ones. <laughs> cute little fat ones. No, I mean. <laughs> that sounds about right for you, Eris. I could just eat them up. I mean. Uh, oh, so cute, oh, gee. You, know? you used to be the death wing. Please don't scare the children like this. If uh, she's rather sadistic, actually. She tends, she likes to pretty much incinerate her enemies. Oh. And reduce them to ash. Like Which ash like in the fall. Oh Cats lord. Or dogs? Mm. So as they both in pipe at the same time, because they were so close together. Choice, I think I would say dogs. I would have guessed cats. What? Any particular reason why? I would have guessed cats. <laughs> I was flying once when I was a child, and a cat attacked me because it thought I was a bird. 
Oh. Uh. At least makes sense. It hurt, it hurt me how tenacious he was. As he straight after me, the skin design, the smooth motion. The mere thoughts doesn't give me chills. Bad childhood experiences. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll definitely do it. I'm not sure what happens if you somehow get a tie. But. Who could say? I never know because it's either one or the other for me. Anyway, let's, uh. Oh, Radix! And we're gonna have everyone in the party this question, aren't we? Yes, we have to. What does it mean? Damn it, Dry Ace, answer me! Don't say. Da damn it, Billy! Yeah, I like those tough looking watchdogs uh. the most. That sounds they like They say on a wall, say nobody's right. gonna harm you. Not uh, on my watch. I like having a partner who can cover my back. Ah, well, <laughs> that makes sense. Maybe you should get a dog once I'm back on Earth. Yeah. <laughs> Lord. But yeah, I think if you leave without telling every talking to everybody, you lose affection points. Oh, jeez. And here comes... You know, considering here. I wouldn't have guessed this was going to be Which a whole... Like more, uh, I would have lost dogs. points then. I wouldn't have guessed you had to talk to oh, everyone. What? Wait, 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 What? Really? He's That's a cat a man? Yeah. I'm the opposite myself. Hmm. He's a cat man. You like dogs more? Dogs That's outrageous. outrageous. What the hell? <laughs> what? What are you getting so worked up about? <laughs> oh no. Uh, chase my feral dog around on night and watch back when I first joined the army. But I hope I will never get to my dying days. Oh. Uh, what's with all these new things? You get those monsters by the cartload, yeah, he's raised the dogs. Pretty crazy. Go figure. Every time it's always shallow trauma. Good lord. Get over it! You lost an arm, but you're afraid of it. I don't understand. Well, I don't. Have it. Dogs are more popular. That doesn't necessarily what? make it right, per Cats se, are but. So much cuter when they purr and stuff. I'm not sure what happens. I tend to always get dogs. I wonder if it. I wonder if it. Mm. I think it would. I think it would mention. I think it would say something about uh, cats being better if you got more cat lovers. I think the cat lovers are obviously Billy. Parichi, I, I, um, Ashley, Ravel, and Cius, actually, I think. Cius is a cat man. <laughs> hmm. That's what... You can't expect this stuff. This is, the RPGs are just, wow. <laughs> uh, speaking of which... It's amazing. Oh. Huh? Hmm? What are you thinking about, Millie? Oh, this and that, you know, oh, just right. the usual. I wasn't really thinking about anything. I was just looking at this suit of armor. Why? I think it's a bit heavy for you. What's so special about it? Take a closer look. Mm hmm? Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, great. Uh, examine the helmet, chest piece, uh, and the helmet. Anything unusual about the helmet? You got the chest piece. I don't see anything unusual about this chest piece. What? <laughs> what? Huh? What do you mean, aha? Did you not hear that? Are you deaf, Roddick? I heard meowing earlier, but I was too afraid to go looking for it by myself. Uh, so you had me look for okay. you Figures. All right. Give me the boots. I don't see anything unusual about the boots? Okay, I don't. Uh, d d what? Whatever. I don't see anything unusual. <laughs> about I think I'd examine them twice. Oh, or at least. Uh, I don't see anything special. I gotta examine it. Uh, oh. Ooh, kitty. Now I'll examine the boots. I guess you gotta examine the chest piece. Ooh, kitty. And, uh, helmet, yes. helmet and the boots. <laughs> now, the boots. This is a complicated PA, I guess. <laughs> what the? Oh! Ah, it's just Parichi. Well, of course. Did you expect anything else? You shouldn't go in there, Parichi. It's dangerous. But she was just playing, I'm <laughs> sure. Yeah, what? Huh? Uh? Oh! Oh! <laughs> what? 
What the? <laughs> there can't be any more. <laughs> what is this? A, ca a, cl a cat version of a clown car? What the hell is this? How did all those cats fit in one loud armor? <laughs> How did all these guys Pocket bring in dimensions. there anyway? Pocket dimensions. <laughs> Lodge, it astounds me. Hope that's all. I don't think any more could fit in there. I don't think even they fit in there. It's beyond. It's beyond. That is not possible. My 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 brain exploded now. Thank you. <laughs> oh great! <laughs> I can't. Oh, oh, we're having a big warm pile too. Uh, I think there's more cats there than the most cats you can get in, in an ending of Chrono Trigger, for crying out loud. <laughs> I guess I find new ways to break people. That... I'm so broken, I'm gonna call that a catastrophe. <laughs> Catast catastrophe! Yes. <laughs> well... Well, I guess I the cat's out of the bag. Fall then under the category of, oh my god. <laughs> yes, now we gotta head, I think we should head back to Van City. Oh, but first... Let me see more of these damn cat puns. <laughs> Aww. What are you two talking about? Girl, stop going. away. Oh, Roddick. Eris was just letting me feel her wings. They're so soft. Uh huh? That's so low. Uh, up. Oh, hey, don't touch them, Roddick. You hurt. I knew that sounded awkward. I knew something had to be. Aww. I'm really amazed these soft, light wings can keep you flying in the Something. air. Just how far can you fly in one go? Women. Well, I, in my just, case, I have to wonder I've about that. I've just returned to my real body, so I'm not sure I'd be able to go very far right now. Hmm. A little out of practice, I can imagine here. Oh, I'm sorry. That must sound really strange to you. Sorry. Nah, considering what was before that, not not at all, I really. I may have been Mavelle for several years. That's all in the past now. Mavelle and I had two completely different. So why you? So why you're in the ice? You were pretty much hit, not aged at all. Come to think of it, what happened to Mavelle's body anyway? She said she was Mavelle for several years. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring it up like that. No, it's all mm, right. Makes you wonder. I'm really thankful for her. She gave me the opportunity to keep on living. Even if it was just for the sake of revenge. I would love to have known her real name, but I'm afraid that's not possible anymore. Hmm. She's still alive in your heart, isn't she? I think that's good enough. Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. Well, you two were friends. Hmm. You shared a lot of time together. <laughs> As long as you don't forget about her, then I think she'll never disappear. Yeah, and besides, we're friends with both Mavelle There's that. and you, Eris. That hasn't changed one bit either. And, oh yeah, I should mention, all the affection points you got with Mavelle transferred to Eris. And, as long as that's true, she's still going to be alive. I wouldn't think she'd forget something like that, yeah. Yeah, so uh, it would it'd make sense for the points to carry over. Yeah. If, you, if you get nice things to say once in a blue moon, don't you, Roddick? <laughs> well, Roddick, you have to know to say some dumb things, man. You gotta be, you gotta be honest with yourself. <laughs> All right. Oh yes, in part 15, not only do we have uh, some on the, well, on that that uh, other actual dungeon that kicked his ass, we also have pretty much exclusive private actions with Aris. I have to say that that was an interesting counterbalance of private actions. And the really goofy cat one, and that really serious one with with Aeris. That's that's amazing. I'm sorry, what? I was saying it's funny how the uh, first we had the really lighthearted cat PA, and then we switched uh, switch gears and tried the Aeris PA. So it's kind of hard really to hear. Serious. It's, it's kind of hard to hear because your mic keeps cutting out and stuff. Oh, you're kidding me. So basically, 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 what he said was you, you were glad there was a counterbalance. Yeah, it was kind of... It was interesting, at least, yeah. Roddick, mm. I had a dream yesterday about us before all this happened. Hmm? Huh? What kind of dream? I dreamt that you, me, and Dorn were all having a great time uh, together. Before the whole incident began. Oh, yeah? But then, Dorn wouldn't stop picking on me, and he made me really angry. Then you came, and... And you... Hmm, that's weird. I forgot the rest of it. 
You know, don't worry about it, Millie. I tend to forget my dreams. Instead, I wake up. Perhaps it was because it was a bad dream. Perhaps she just missed home or misses home. Don't Perhaps worry. that's all it is. I promise mm. you that we'll save him. I'm here, you're here, and Dorn's still here. We just gotta uh, do what we can for him, all right? Wait, he's well. Technically, he's not here, you're but right, he's there. Wait, there is here. Here is there. He means it in a metaphor metaphorical sense, Adam. Don't ruin I know, the I, I, know, I, know. <laughs> I know what he meant. I'm just saying, why word it that way? Because he can. Because it's an RPG, and if everything was put in, it should be just now. Oh dear, this is an evil moment. This will make you lose affection points with Parichi. Don't don't interrupt a cat nap. That's not nice, man. Don't do I, it. I have to in order to move on with the PAs. Sadly. I, meant rot I didn't mean you meant Rodic. I know. That's that's out of your hands, but it's not out of his. Come on, man. That's not cool. <laughs> I should have the whole this dog thing. Good. Oh god! Oh, and there's two witnesses too. They're, come on, you're not getting get down. Eris and Ilya are right there. They're gonna see this. Oh uh, come on, man. Oh, of course, this game just pretends they weren't there. Well, I know. It just at least looks that way. Mm-hmm. Oh. Look out! It's a dog! Oh! Did you know what that? Oh! You're gonna give her a heart attack, and then she's gonna claw your face off. You genius! <laughs> Her and dogs are like Riku and Lightning. Uh, Shouldn't whoa, whoa, do that. Gee, calm down. <laughs> Idiot, you big, you big dummy. She called it. No, cut it out. Well, he's a dog. But, uh, that's it. <laughs> Not worth the mouthful of buddy chicklets. Good job, man. Good job. <laughs> Because you, yeah, of course she ends up uh, panicking in that house over there. And, uh, hmm. What's this? Uh, it's so warm. Oh, now you're gonna take like taking a nap. You wouldn't let her take a nap, and now you're gonna take. Don't you do this, man? Oh wait a minute. This is a dream he's having. Oh wait a minute. I know what happens here. Oh. Stepmother Ilya. Oh. oh, but wait a minute. Now that puts a different spin. On, I'm not gonna think about the studio. What floor. is it, mother? Oh, it's it's you know it me. Hurry up and get the cooking started. But why would Ilya yes, be? Right away. That's not fair. Yeah. Ilya's not mean. It's a erotic. <laughs> it, no, it's just a dream. A bad I, dream. You know. uh, oh, and we have two female party members. Well, they show up here as the stepsisters. Oh, God, uh, Eris is a wicked stepsister. Well, because she used to be the death wing. Uh. Oh, my. But this, it's just, this is a continuation of the PA in um, Port Myth. My sister. What do you need? Well, I don't think this is going to end with him getting a dress to go to the ball. At least I hope not. Rodic in a dress would just not be. Yes, <laughs> I just love that! That glare, that, that, that look at she, she gave. Uh, oh boy. This whole thing says bad written all over it. This uh, can end well. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh, revenge for the dog thing. <laughs> that her, I could imagine, is, is a wicked stepsister a lot more than. Oh jeez. <laughs> this is one of the best PAs ever! Yes, my sister. What do you need? Yes, my sister. I'm bored. Uh, do something. Oh God! Yes, right away. Oh, this is just random. Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> is he trying to dance? Really? I think he is. So you think you can dance? Uh, not that well, right? Where's like a gong when you need it, you know, or or Simon? Just say no. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? That was insanity. Is what that was. Well, she's happy, so she's gone. It doesn't end there. No, of course not. That'd be. Oh wait a minute. Oh god, who's supposed to be the fairy godmother then? 
Or father, godfather, probably in this case, nope. for godfather. Nope, nope, still for godmother. <laughs> really, Millie? Of course. Oh, Roddy. Such a pitiful Very god, Millie. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I've got just the surprise for you. Huh? And poof. Don't you dare put him in a dress. We were talking about this <laughs> hours and hours ago. Oh, wait, what? Oh, what? Oh, my we god. Need. I've come to take you away from all of this. What? Uh, <laughs> what? Finally, no, modern gaming has come, come, come full circle. Come. It's about time we we decide. You know what? It's not creepy. It's oh, just yeah. it happens. I... There's it's nothing wrong with, with homosexuals. Leave them alone, damn it! <laughs> I'm sure there's been a few fanfics of with Ronix Ronix. I uh. <laughs> but I'm um, I'm also looking for a princess if you don't mind. <laughs> Too late. Uh, the voice, the voice makes it bit the best. <laughs> oh god, I wonder if the voice actor was having too much fun with this. <laughs> not how we it. Seeing the hair on your tail stand on end like that makes me feel all fuzzy inside. <laughs> Interpretation here, of right. course. Anyway, this, just, just, just. I love you, my dear <laughs> little kitten. Oh my. <laughs> And that's how the slash fic was born. God help us all. Try Ace. Oh, try Ace. You have opened up a can of worms. <laughs> but unfortunately, it was just a dream. What do you mean, unfortunately? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it was a dream. Or You're more like a right? nightmare. You were groaning in your sleep. Oh! You would too if you were. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think Parichi did this to him just somehow, some way, for waking her up from the cat nap. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't immediately uh, get the game to immediately just have you run uh, run off the, out of the town for that. <laughs> Wait, give me up. Uh. <laughs> oh, what a nightmare! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh wait! Oh wait! What a nightmare, Millie! Oh wait, not Millie! You're you're the fairy godmother. No, never mind, Millie. Uh, is this something on my face? You don't. I hope you say just the way you are, Ronix. For God's sake, don't ask, Ronix. Ronix, what's it gonna be? A nightmare eventually? Don't ask. For God's sake, don't ask. Uh, <laughs> uh, huh? I, I, I just asked everyone what their reactions are, because and because everyone else is like, huh. Nah. Oh. Ah, uh, what it's like to be alive. Uh. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Peaceful, Hamlet, isn't it? Yeah, when not having nightmares about <laughs> Prince Ronix going to take you away. <laughs> oh, that was definitely one. That was definitely that was definitely one of the best PAs in the whole so, game. So random. Where the hell did that come from, Trice? You're in Spartanate, You scare me. <laughs> and she probably just probably just yucking it up, but back there. <laughs> I still think somehow she's involved just by some BS plot device. It was her that made the dream happen. <laughs> anyway, see you at part 15 for that dungeon and PAs with Eris. Unless Prince, Ron Prince Ronix.